It is a mystery yet to be solved. How did a military uniform that went missing more than a year ago in Utah end up at the Albuquerque Sunport? Not even the uniform's owner or the person who found it knows. News 13's Emily Younger has that story. Hey, how you doing? Have a great trip. For several hours. Have a great trip. Every week, Rick Albright. Have a good journey. Brightens up Thank the hallways of the You're Albuquerque welcome. International Sunport. <laughs> <laughs> the 68-year-old veteran is part of the Volunteer Ambassador Program here. We get asked a lot where the bathrooms are. His job is to make people passing through the city's airport bon voyage. feel welcome. Find what you're looking for. This week, he went above that duty. When I looked at it, I could tell that we could probably find this because it's a resume. When you look at that uniform, you'll see that it's a resume. Albright is talking about this decorated dress uniform with the name tag Thompson. It's been collecting dust in the airports lost and found for about nine months. Employees had exhausted their resources trying to find the owner until Albright stepped in to help. I have a daughter who works in headquarters for the Army in San Antonio. He snapped a few pictures of the Army uniform, sent them to his daughter, then posted them on Facebook. My phone is still clicking, shared, shared, shared. Eventually, one of those shares made its way to Major Carl Thompson in Tampa, Florida. I just figured that thing was gone. Thompson says he lost his dress blues while traveling from Washington, D.C. to Salt Lake City in November 2014. And when I got off the plane, uh, the uniform wasn't there. He says he had given up hope on finding it. Until Albright brightened up his day too. It restores your 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 faith in the in the goodness of most folks. Emily Younger. We hope so as well. KRQE News 13. Thompson says he has no idea how the uniform ended up in Albuquerque because he's never even been to the Sunport. Well oddly enough Sunport staff say it is not unheard of for a military uniform to wind up in their lost and found. While we were there today, we found everything from clothes and jewelry to laptops, a skateboard, walking canes, even a giant cooler. Workers say they hold on to them, every item for 90 days, and if no one claims them, they're either put up for city auction or donated to the Salvation Army.